I'll go through the various options you have in Affinity Photo for resizing and resampling your document. The primary method for achieving this is to go to Document, Resize Document. This presents a straightforward dialog with the size or pixel resolution, document measurement units, DPI or dots per inch value, and the resampling method, plus an option for enabling or disabling resampling. Most use cases will involve resampling. This refers to changing the actual number of pixels being used to represent the information in the document. For example, if I wanted to resize the long side of this document to 4000 pixels wide, I could type 4000 into the width input here and tab to commit that. The height is automatically calculated, but you can unlink width and height using this option here if you wish to perform non-proportional scaling. I'll re-enable this for now. The majority of workflows for Affinity Photo will only be using pixels as a measurement unit, but you can change the unit here. When dealing purely with a measurement of pixels, the DPI value is effectively arbitrary. I'll leave it set to 350 for now, but I will show you a workflow where it becomes useful. We then have the resampling method, which will be used when the resample checkbox is enabled here. Nearest neighbor is very coarse and would primarily be useful for downsampling or upsampling pixel art. Bilinear, the default method, produces sufficient quality, but you may want the results to be slightly sharper, in which case bicubic is a good choice. The two Lantzos methods will create sharper results at the slight risk of sampling artifacts such as ringing around high contrast edge detail. Separable is faster, whereas non-separable is slower, but produces the sharpest result out of all the available methods. I'll choose bicubic sampling for this image, then click Resize. We can observe on the context toolbar that the document has been downsampled to 4000 pixels wide. Don't forget to zoom to 100% using Command 1 on Mac, Control 1 on Windows. This is the best way to evaluate sharpness of the resampled result. I'm going to undo the resampling and go through some additional workflows back on the Resize Document dialog. If I specifically wanted to resize to a physical measurement at a given dots per inch value, I could achieve this first by changing the Units option here to that measurement. Inches, for example. Now I want to calculate an appropriate pixel resolution for an 8 inch sized image at a DPI of 300. I can type 300 into the DPI input box, then tab to commit that. And now I'll change the width to 8 and tab to automatically calculate the height. The description will now show the calculated pixel resolution required for an 8 inch print at 300 dpi. I might opt for sharper resampling using Lantzos 3 non separable, then click Resize to resample the document. Again, don't forget to zoom to 100% to evaluate the sharpness with more accuracy. You can also change the DPI value arbitrarily. You might do this to influence the size of an image when it is placed into a publication, for example. Back on the Resize Document dialog, I can uncheck Resample, and this now greys out the Resample method dropdown. I could type 600 into the DPI input and use Tab. Notice that the physical size of the document has changed, but the pixel resolution remains the same. I can click Resize, and the DPI metadata for this document will now be set to 600. So if this document is exported to a JPEG or TIFF, for example, and placed into a document set to 600 DPI, and the software is working in physical measurements, this image can be placed initially at an exact size of 4 by 2.95 inches. Now I'll show another workflow where the resize document functionality can prove useful. This is a common occurrence. This plan originates from a DWG file that was initially opened in Designer, so various edits could be made. The Designer document file is then brought into Photo for texturing 
and final colouring. However, with this file originating from CAD software, the combination of a low DPI value and small physical measurement has resulted in an insufficient pixel resolution. The plan looks incredibly blurry and lacks detail in photo. In Affinity Designer, this issue would not have been noticed because vector data is always scaled infinitely. But in photo, the vector data is rasterized when displayed on screen at the given resolution. It becomes more of an issue when the typical workflow for texturing a plan involves flattening the document, which will destructively rasterize that vector data at a low resolution. The easiest way to fix this, if I just undo that flatten operation, is to go to the Resize Document dialog, ensure Resample is checked, then increase the DPI to a denser value, such as 300. The pixel resolution looks much healthier now, but I could probably go to 600 if I wanted to further increase the resolution. I'll click Resize, and the line work now becomes much crisper and more detailed. Although the vector data is actually untouched, Photo is now rasterizing it for display at a much higher resolution. When raster layers are added, such as pattern layers and bitmap fills, they will be influenced by the pixel resolution, so it's a good idea to work at a sufficient resolution for your intended output. Finally, another way to resample based on a physical measurement is by cropping. I'll select the Crop tool using C on the keyboard. On the Mode drop-down here, I'll choose Resample. I'll change the units to inches and set the DPI to 300. I might want a portrait print size of 10 by 12 inches, so I'll type 10 into the width, tab across, type 12, then use Return or Enter. I can adjust the crop if required, but this works fine for my image here, so I can click Apply to quickly crop and resample simultaneously. The document pixel resolution is now 3000 by 3600, which produces a 10 by 12 inch print at 300 dpi, so I could then print this directly at the desired size. And that was a look at the resampling and resizing options in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.